my name is Kaya for any of you that are new welcome to the channel in today's video I'm going to be installing and reviewing this wig here from Altre. I do want to say a huge shout out and thank you to Altre for sending over today's wig so if you guys are interested in seeing the install as well as hearing what I think about it make sure you continue to watch and of course subscribe to my channel if you're not already hit the notification bell and follow me on my socials they're on my screen and in my description bar below now let's jump into the video <laughs> So today's wig that we are reviewing is their new Altre Melted Hairline Costanza Unit. And I do have it in one of their newer colors, DR Almond Spice. So this unit also comes in 11B2 Maple Brown, the Red Velvet, Butter Pecan, Sandy Blonde, and Ginger Brown. So in the inside of the stock card, it shows you a little bit of... Um, what their other colors look like as well as the key features of the unit and then the back of the stock card shows you the special colors that this unit is offered in as well. So their melted hairline unit comes with a frontal effect hairline, no plucking is required and it has a comfort fit ear contour area and then it also comes with baby hairs and there is an elastic band that is included inside the unit. It's HD transparent lace and is safe for you to use heat on up to 400 degrees. So first we'll start off with my rating of today's wig. This unit is cute, however I am going to have to give this unit about an 8 out of 10. The reason being is because I don't actually think I'm in love with the color. I do think it's coming off a little bit more um, subtle on camera, but in person it just has a lot going on with the color. Now I'm not saying that the color is bad, like it could really work for other people but for my preference I do I would not prefer to have so many colors going on in my hair so this unit has the blonde streaks as well as almond color as well as like a dark brown so it's kind of like you're getting like red blonde and black mixed into this entire unit and it's just a lot going on for me personally and it could be just because of it being curly hair and not straight hair but let me say, don't knock it till you try it is how I would <laughs> go for that one. So this unit has a lot of lace space in the front. I'm going to cut all that lace off. I am going to tint the lace as well with my tint spray. I add some makeup to my parting space, all that good work. I did kind of pluck it just a little bit right near the parting space and I didn't really use too many of the baby hairs in this unit now on the model they definitely used quite a bit of baby hairs on her head you can see about three swoops and it's cute I think that the hairline is a little bit more dense than their previous melted hairline units like I feel like it could have been plucked out a little bit more I don't want to have to do that myself but I do think that if I continue to wear this wig, I definitely would need to pluck it out some more because it just has a lot going on to try to add baby hairs to it as well. I don't think it would look as natural as I would like it. This unit is also just a side part unit so you can only wear it on the left side. It's also completely curly, like I mean from root to end. So if you want it to have more of a flat straight look towards your parting space, you'll probably need to go over with like your hot comb or something just to straighten it out a little bit. That's what I did. It didn't come out of the packaging like super poofy, so I wouldn't say you would need the, the flat iron for that. But if you want to straighten it out some, I think that would be a good way to go. There's no tangling with it yet but I do think this unit would tangle over time because of how it's made the pattern that it has the curls there was no shedding which I absolutely appreciate I also just kind of finger combed these curls out a little bit because it kind of takes away that super perfect look I didn't want it to look so so synthetic is what how I would put it like it once you once you comb it out a little bit it gives it more of like a nap natural look to it so the hair is pretty silky it doesn't really feel like any yucky texture hair also it's also very big head friendly I do love the elastic band that is included in it I didn't use the um, adjustable straps in it but it feels pretty secure but I do have a lot of space in it once I stretch it out some so if you're looking for a curly unit, I definitely think you should try this one out though because you're going to get all the beach wave vibes from it. Like that's how I feel it looks. 
But yeah, you guys, that's all I have to say about today's wig. If you have any questions about it, leave it in my comment section below. Also, leave me a thumbs up if you like today's video. Thank you again to Outro for sending over today's wig. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.